Well, hey, Daily Dosers, welcome back. This is part two from yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about David and how to treat our enemies and David finding strength in the Lord. And I said, tomorrow we'll tell you about where that strength comes from and how to do it, and that's today. So if you didn't catch that, go back yesterday because I'm still here in Israel bringing you Daily Dose right on location from where a lot of these Psalms were actually written, and we're right here in En Gedi, the spring of the wild goats. And I want to read to you Psalms 1. We've done this before on Daily Dose before because it's one of the favorite Psalms and mine and from some of our other teachers. But I want to read it in location where these Psalms come from and give you a different picture of this. Psalm chapter 1 says this, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on this law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, and whatever they do prospers. Oh, not so the wicked. The wicked are like chaff that the wind simply blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. And I love that the very first Psalms, out of 150 Psalms in the Bible, start simply with this. It's almost as if to say, before you start talking about blessings, before you start talking about how to go through the valley of the shadow of the death, before you start talking about how to do life, you have to first figure out, what am I rooted in? Yesterday we saw David's heart and how he treated his enemy. Where'd that come from? It simply said, David found strength in the Lord. Now David writes 73 of the Psalms, many of them from places just like this. This is where David and his men camped out and lived while King Saul was chasing them. And now we have this incredible picture of the psalmist. Picture him up here. Now just a day or two ago, I gave you a, a daily dose from the Dead Sea. And we talked about how it was beautiful, but nothing lives there. That land and that water can, and that soil cannot support anything. But a 20 minute bus ride through this hot desert of nothing but rocks, you come across this incredible, incredible valley. Why? Because there's running water. Why? Because this gives life. And David says, let me tell you, blessed is the person who does not walk stand or sit you see that progression who doesn't have a relationship with sin now, at first i'm simply walking and something's a temptation next thing i know i'm standing i'm looking at it i'm thinking about it and then to sit is to have a relationship with oh people he writes guard your hearts that you don't walk into temptation stand and even think about it in temptation and then have a relationship with temptation instead blessed is the person who delights in the law of the Lord, who meditates on it day and night. They, um, well, they will be like this. They will be like trees planted by the water. Can you see the stark difference with the desert I've shown you around us to all of a sudden come into a valley like this? There are trees that when the storms hit, when the heat comes up, their leaf does not wither, they will not topple over. Why? Because they're planted by streams of water. This is where their roots are. Blessed is the person today that says, God, sometimes I don't like it and I don't get it, but I will walk in your ways day and night. All my daily decisions aren't about what I want, but God, what you want me to do. You will be a person like these trees planted by streams of water. You will be a person that will stand fast in the midst of temptation and struggle. Not so if you choose to stand, walk, sit, with temptation, you're gonna be like the chaff. You're gonna be like the stuff that's thrown in the air and the wind just blows it away, not the good stuff that falls. Man, what a great picture of Psalms 1 from where Psalms were written. This is what the psalmists have in mind, and I hope this stays in your mind today. Is there something today you're choosing to walk, stand, sit with that doesn't honor God? Oh, people, walk away from it. Follow His Word and be like these trees that take root next to streams of water in the midst of dark, desolate times. There's your daily dose from here in a valley where David and his men lived. We'll see you tomorrow.